Howdy y'all, Carl here. Welcome back to the kitchen. It's supper time and I think today's menu is going to include barbecue beef ribs. Or, well, not really barbecue, but we're going to make them in a pressure cooker. We're going to braise them in beer. We're going to finish them off in the oven uh, just so we can get a nice caramelization on the um, barbecue sauce. So let's take a look at what we got going on. All right, so I've got my Nesco uh, six quart pressure cooker. I've had this thing for about a year. I used it mostly to make beans and soup. Uh, I've actually never cooked meat in it, so this will be kind of a new experience. Uh, we'll be using Shiner Bock for the uh, braising liquid, some Stubbs Sweet Heat Barbecue to finish them off, and I've got probably about a pound, two pounds of, bar of beef ribs here. And uh, so yeah, let's get it going. All right, so prep for this is really easy. Check your ring on your pressure cooker. Make sure that the gasket's in good working order. Vent's not clogged or any of that stuff. Put the wire rack into the basket or the bowl. Add your braising liquid. It almost seems like it's a shame to waste this uh, beer, but it's going to make these ribs taste amazing, hopefully. All right. And you take your ribs. And lay them on top of the rack there. Always got to make sure that you're not above the uh, fill line. And I think we're just under it, so we're golden there. Close the pressure cooker, lock it into place. Make sure that the, uh, the stopper is set to seal. And then we set the time. The instruction book said you want to cook beef for about 12 uh, to 15 minutes a pound on high. Um, I'm going to cook these ribs for about 30 minutes just so that we can make sure that they're super moist and tender. And then, like I said, I'm going to finish them off in the oven with the uh, sauce. So, set it to high. And you just go up. I'm actually going to go 35 just to be safe. <clears throat> Hit the start button and that's it. Once it comes to pressure, it'll start counting down. I'll see you in about 35 minutes. All right, so the cooking cycle is done, and uh, the instruction said to do a, uh, a rapid vent. So, there we go. Get all the steam out of there. All right, so all the steam is out, or most of it's out. Let's see if it's on, if I can uh, unlock it. There we go. So the lid turns. Go ahead and open her up. Oh man, can you see that? Let's see if I can't zoom in. Those things are cooked, cooked, and they smell amazing. I'll set that top off to the side. Look at those. Those are falling apart tender. Let me grab some tongs. See if we can do this without having them break apart. Look at that. <laughs> ah, the second slab, basically all bone. The meat's basically just pulled right off. Let me see if we can't zoom back out and get a good look at that finished product there. Ah, look at those. Those are amazing. Super tender, super moist. Let's get them lathered up with the uh, Sweet Baby Rays and we'll chuck them in the oven. I can't believe how just super soft they are. I mean, look at that. They're just falling apart. Uh, sorry, not Sweet Baby Ray's. Today we're using the stubs. All right, so we're just gonna pour a generous helping on. Oop, a little much there. Lather it around, get those nice and coated. 
Um, I gotta say, for my first uh, first go at ribs, I think uh, I think these are gonna turn out pretty awesome. Um, I hope they shrunk quite a bit. That must have been some fatty meat, but uh, that's all right. I don't need to eat too much. So those are nice and coated. And let's move over to the broiler. All right, so we got them in the broiler. Gonna let them uh, roast for about five or 10 minutes just to caramelize that sauce so it gets nice and uh, crispy and warm through. All right, so they're out of the oven. They, uh, man, the sauce is starting to caramelize, bubbling up nice. Let's get these plated up and see what, uh, how we did. All right, so there's dinner. A little coleslaw, a little mustard potato salad. Let's see how tender these ribs came out. Bone pulls right off. Look at that. Clean, clean, clean. Cooked all the way through. All right, well, let's see how they taste. Let's get that little piece I tore off. Mm. Those are amazing. Um, definitely, probably, definitely, probably. Definitely would have been better if I'd have seasoned the meat a little bit first, but the meat is tender, it's moist. Um, I should have cut the silver back off of the meat as well, but it's super moist and tasty. Um, that's the only thing that makes it a little stringy, but this was the first time I've ever made ribs, um, period, and the first time I've ever made them in that pressure cooker. So. I'm very happy with this. Uh, finger licking good. I hope you all enjoyed watching. I'm going to enjoy my dinner. Cheers. Have a good evening.